Welcome to Amicast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Christoph or Radzik. Hi, Amicas on YouTube. So, in the previous episode, we installed the Amikit X, the new version. So now let's uh, take a look how it looks like here. This is the, the drives. Mm, here is Amikit um, menu, something like a, uh, let's say Windows has. Uh, so here you have some programs and you can explore them. Uh, it's a lot of things from Spectrum emulation to C64 emulation uh, or, or Director Opus 4 if you're not um, comfortable with Director Opus 5 which is integrated with Amikit. Integrated this means um, when you open the Amikit it's, it's uh, Opus here everywhere. Uh, or when you make a double click on the desktop is is opus and you can explore the documents uh, or you can use opus 4 the classic uh, amiga way so this is the the first program that uh, it's worth to try there is a, a fraying pen or make cd to make uh, cds if you want um, i don't know if you will make it uh, on, on on emulation but you can try it uh, then hmm, let's uh, virtual CD. This is very useful. The virtual CD. I already have chosen my my disk image. When you select it here, then mount it. And for example, uh, there is Amiga Forever from Amiga Forever. You can get the the, the ROMs that you need for let's say emulation games. Uh, but this mounted, for example, now. Then you have, uh, for example, um, audio. Uh, audio is uh, Amiga Amp. Uh, this is for playing, uh, make it simple MP3 on the Amiga, but probably you want to try something like classic feeling. Uh, so it could be, uh, for example, um, Aimnet Radio. So it will stream some uh, Amiga inspired um, modes just play and you are online you can listen some cool stuff there is other options like uh, Amimoto radio uh, or for example uh, what i like uh, hypo player uh, classic easy without uh, extra features module player there is more stuff on uh, audio it's a uh, tracker for example I'm not familiar with Tracker, but you can uh, make your music here or load some module. We don't have so much time, so let's go to next um, option. It's internet, so it's a lot of... You, you can try Tweet on Amiga, you can uh, try uh, IRC. Uh, I mean Trade Center, it's um, FTP, but... Um, Instead of FTP, you can, for example, go direct from Opus, from Amikit here. When you click on Aminet, done. It's it's um, Aminet here servers, so you can go go here, for example, and you double click. Sorry, uh, and you can explore it, download the files. Okay, uh, from typical point of view probably you need eyebrows this is classic uh, amiga browser it's not uh, fitting to today really well but uh, basically you can go to for example aminet again um, see what is new uh, for example it should be the new amicast player so you can click here and uh, download it uh, to download further for example I have already downloaded it, so let's let's do it again. Overwrite. So you see, this is basically for really simple use. Uh, but if you want to explore um, today's internet, it's the option like NetSurf. On real Amigas, it's quite slow, but on the uh, emulation, uh, it's well integrated with Amikit. Uh, so you can go to my blog so and then you can see the modern web pages like here it's when it's loaded it takes some time but it's really it's fast 
of course the loading times are not so perfect but basically when you click here it's everything is working uh, so no problems uh, at all you can see the comments you can enjoy some bro browsing the internet on the um, emulated Amiga games yes this is the option but uh, maybe first uh, let's say this is uh, some graphic stuff and uh, and and more perfect paint is integrated already here so this is my laptop uh, resolution so start perfect paint I'm not use, uh, using this uh, at all so <laughs> sorry but I think we can create some something oh yeah I yeah, I can create the line. So, but it's 24-bit uh, painting program, really nice. You can enjoy it. Uh, then you have some other options like Frozer NG, FF Play, um, and um, as you see, the Dropbox is already integrated in configuration. Um, you should uh, make it happen. Uh, by CD and hard drives, then you have the Dropbox folders. You, you must define it uh, properties. It's, 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 it's the path that you should do it here. So, but then when you did it, um, then you can go. Oh, sorry, not here. I think. Uh, yeah, let's go. Um, let's try it on the some modern uh, stuff that I recorded. And. It's not working perfect. It's quite old program, but uh, but thanks to to the rabbit hole feature, you can use the hybrid between your Mac uh, or Windows of or I think Linux soon. Uh, so rabbit hole is um, something that it was introduced, will be introduced, was introduced something like that in um, Alice laptop. Uh, so um, this is the access to your programs that you have on your in my situation Mac so when you double click on iTunes uh, there will be loaded out you send you see it's um, like on Ami like on Amiga uh, because this this means um, again you must in configuration of uh, of Ami kit uh, when you go to um, F12 this is the configuration of Ami kit then in display you should choose a full window full window for native and RTG display so then it uh, the AMI kit uh, will be integrated that you have the uh, all Mac features like uh, launchpad uh, and and so on so to be honest or, or like uh, like you saw the iTunes or a web browser it's it's integrated here uh, so you open the Mac application on, on that uh, you can even go to the terminal of Mac if you like so basically you use the um, some like a hybrid system uh, even if you go to favorites here and when you make a double click on Amikit quick setup it will load not a APDF classic Amiga uh, PDF reader, but the preview what is comes uh, from Mac OS, so it's nice and it's uh, it's it's quite inter well integrated. Uh, okay, then is the text. This is a PDF, but it's quite old and in modern PDFs it's uh, almost unable to see. Uh, there are micro golden add to edit uh, the files and uh, R edit. It's really simple. A nice program to make text or edit your uh, user startup uh, sequence, uh, something like that. Mm, then here you have some typical Amikit stuff like Morpheus, uh, so you can update your system if the update is available. It will basically mm, say it to you. Then you can choose the desktop replacement if you don't want to use the Opus. You can use Workbench, for example. Um, you can use uh, visual temps. Uh, basically, you can if you don't like green, you can change it to uh, to blue or, or something like this. Retro switch is uh, something that will bring you back to to this year. So no thanks. Um, 
and some some more languages options you can choose your language here um, so then you have here preferences so directly you can access to preferences of uh, of, of system or amikit and, and so on uh, shutdown is to shut down reboot and, and and this stuff and the games or you can go to uh, favorite mm, this is here there are some uh, games already preloaded or demos and everything is working with the HW load it's yeah you know I click here so this is this program that you can even update uh, but let's start it uh, F10 is too quick good to know yeah and there is the Lux Galaga here yeah let's play it I don't know how, how, how to shoot I don't know how to shoot. This is bad. Okay, some games and uh, uh, Open Tyrant is the the new uh, for classic. Um, so you can even try this. It's native game in RTG, so graphic cards world. I think I suppose. Um, start new game, player, episode one. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, data. This is not this. How I can play this? Ah, play next level. Um, okay, so um, before we end, there is some useful tools here. So um, you can explore it, join splitter to join and split the files as uh, grab to make the screenshots mm, UX to un archive uh, L yeah, it's archives <laughs> uh, system here it's some sister software like break process to manage your process exchange, uh, I think uh, everybody should that use Amiga should know what is it if no, just try it uh, startup sequence or user startup is the direct you can edit your sequence here so uh, like you see it's everything uh, prepared just use it uh, and to uh, here is memory status if you want and the, the time and the calendar so uh, to say more about amikit it's really you need let's say a book about this uh, because it's um, a lot of things a lot of things integrated uh, and a lot of things you can um, prepare even the for example from downloads let's go to my program uh, let's test it the wudu x so uh, it should be open it yeah, and this open it and then you can choose the destination is ram extract all and then it will be extracted for example uh, done done so easy then you go to ram disk and there is the the the, the program uh, or like you see so here is uh, even you can choose which picture viewer you would like to you to see the cat yeah <laughs> uh, then is the dropbox here as well integrated mm, so uh, it's really and the cache uh, so this is from the opus feature where you have been so it's a lot of things so, Amicate brings a lot of things to your desktop uh, to to have a well, modern feeling of classic Amiga OS and um, and if classic Amiga OS so Demos Nexus 7 is quite nice double click then the VHD load is integrated just hit start enjoy <laughs>